Hey everybody, it's Ryan with Ryan Industrial. I'm doing a, a short video here on my home solar. I uh, put the panel up uh, just a couple weeks ago and been doing my tests and stuff. And I'm uh, just going to do a quick video, basic overview of the way I designed and built my system. Uh, just sort of a way to give back uh, all the great videos I got knowledge from on YouTube. And uh, this uh, system is just made for lighting for my garage and running uh, TV. But uh, hopefully you can get some info from my system. I'll uh, climb up on the ladder here and uh, take a closer look at the panel. All right, this is my uh, 125 watt 12 volt solar panel. I got uh, used online and local. And then I also made the, uh, the bracket. The way my uh, house faces east-west, I needed something that could angle south and uh, get full sunlight majority of the day. So I built this bracket here, just out of scrap steel. I did um, put a summer and winter pivot. I put uh, some welded some hinges to the framing up front. So uh, right now it's in the summer, excuse me, the winter angle. Um, I'm facing pretty much pretty much due south and then in the summer I can uh, remove this bolt everything falls back down to here so it's more of a 45 degree angle which will give me a uh, better sunlight in the summer months and then uh, the way I mounted the uh, framing here is I, I measured the uh, trusses inside built my frame to equal lengths to the center of each truss and then I put in a four inch wood screws and then uh, put a little silicone on the I drilled pilot holes put some silicone in there and then screwed the uh, screws in there and uh, it's not going anywhere we have some pretty heavy storms in the summertime so I needed something that would uh, hold up to you know 50 60 mile an hour gusts of wind and uh, the steel here ended up working out the best so a little bit of overkill but uh, it holds the panel well and I don't have to worry about anything. It should last me many, many years. And then up here you can see the junction box. What I ended up doing is it doesn't have a con disconnect up here, but I do have um, fuses in here. As you can see, just regular glass bulb type automotive fuses. I got the, the fuse holder at Napa and uh, just bolted it to the bolted it to the junction box and I'm using crimp on style uh, automotive style connectors there for the wire and uh, the uh, harness here going into the garage it's a two wire harness so both wires run in that um, and it's a 12 gauge wire the back of your panel will have the sticker here which is obviously hard to see on the camera but it gives you all the specs for the uh, gauge wire you need for recommendation and then uh, how many uh, amps the fuse is so this little nice nice setup easy to maintain and uh, just simple so uh, I'll head back downstairs and show you uh, the battery box all right, we are in the garage here, and uh, here is my uh, command center. Uh, I built all this myself, and I didn't really go with any type of design, just wanted something that could conceal the batteries and uh, be large enough to use for expanding the system in the future. Um, I got this little panel here, lockable. So once I uh, wire my inverter, I'm going to put an AC breaker in here, and then that will power the lighting in the house. So that, that's the only part that's not done. But you see, just simple uh, setup. I do have a charge light indicator, so when the panel is charging, that light is on. Panel disconnect. Um, everything over here, I just sort of 
this nicely moved um, and stapled it just so it looks nice, but uh, not up to co up to my code. But um, here's the uh, solar panel wire coming into the house. I secured on the rafters with some clamps similar to this, and uh, that's about it. It looks a little crazy right now because I got my. Well, let's actually see here. So my batteries are charging right now at 1496. So they're pretty much full. I'm gonna let them go for about another hour. Uh, the only thing I don't have in my system yet is a charge controller, which I had ordered, and I'll get next week. But um, that's that I'll mount up there. So that's the only thing that I don't have. But um, everything else is, uh, it's, yeah, like I said, 95% done. And then here is my batteries. I have two gel cell batteries. Um, I've had these for two years now. This project's been going on for over two years. Uh, this is my first investment was batteries while I was learning to uh, how to wire everything. I'm just learning about solar panels. So I started with the batteries and an inverter, like you saw. So uh, they're 105 amp hour each. So I'm getting 210 amp hour total. I've got a uh, 12 volt fuse panel here because I do have a couple lights that are 12 volts. I don't need to uh, vent the battery box because they're sealed batteries. If you have flooded batteries you have to. But I do have a little computer fan in here. Uh, I just left over so I tried it out and it uh, it works great. So if, if ever I change these batteries to flooded I'm, I'm ready to go for ventilation. And then like I said I have room to expand. I'm sort of storing stuff. But I could get a total of six batteries in here to have uh, 105 amp hours each, then what, like 630, 635, something like that. So, that's the basics. And then uh, with my lighting, you can see I have the uh, fluorescent lights, and uh, they, they use 150 watts to run. So I upgraded the garage with some recessed lighting. I have some up here as well. And then I run the CFLs, which are only 13 watts, so I'm able to get uh, I'm able to get five and six lamps going, and half the consumption of the fluorescent. And then over here, my computer, I've got these uh, strip lights here, and uh, they're 12 volt LED. Oops, sorry. And I have another one down here. And then I just have a basic on-off, you know, light switch or whatever. And uh, these were really inexpensive. They draw very little voltage, but it is 12 volts. So that fuse panel will control those. And then uh, that way I can get, you know, numerous hours of lighting without worrying about draining my batteries. So that's, uh, that's just the basic lowdown. And uh, as soon as I'm done wiring, I'm going to put an outlet here and then a, uh, a light switch over by the garage door that way I can control the lighting so I'll do an update and maybe I don't know how many months it's going to take me to finish but when I do have it finished so just a basic overview of something and uh, I'm going to show you it works so that's about it and uh, Altogether, with this system, I have about uh, 700 bucks into it right now, and I did get the panel used and the batteries used, so I saved money there, but uh, everything else is pretty much brand new. So expect to pay a little bit of money, but this system's built for a 100 watt an hour or less system, so I can run like four or five hours a night. So just an idea. So if you have any questions or comments, post it below. I'll get back with you as soon as I can, and uh, thanks for taking time to watch. Have a great day.